Hi, my name is Nathan, and today we're gonna do a comic book review of Radiant Black, issue number eight. Brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. We begin this issue with whomever this Radiant Ninja is, and I don't call him Radiant Ninja. Actually, that is not his real name. His real name is 001, he identifies as a number. But I think Radiant Ninja sounds cooler to me. But comment below if you agree, like the video, subscribe too. So an explosion occurred and he's floating in space into another spaceship device. As he enters a spaceship, the light goes on. It's, it's dark at first, the light goes on, he powers it up and he takes off into somewhere unknown, which we can only assume that it's Earth to start laying the smackdown on these other Radiants. Now, meanwhile, in Moscow, where we left off in issue number seven, Marshall and Eva, Radiant Black and Radiant Pink are in Russia, and they're just like, okay, how did you send us to Moscow? And, you know, we need to get out of here. Now, Eva, she's like, stop. You know, I need a second of normal. Everything's spinning and my heart's in my ear. I just can't transport us out of here. I've been transported from Sydney to Tokyo to Chicago and back away from and in the space and then back here. And every time she transports, her energy is drained and she just gets tired. So Marshall's understanding, puts a hand over his shoulder. And I thought he was gonna say the blind squirrel finds a nut in this issue, <laughs> but you know what? I think that's a much more clever way to say that. My man. Meanwhile, now we discover that Radiant Red and Radiant Yellow are in Japan and they come across Radiant Ninja and he is tied up in this telekinetic force field that you can tell that when you see Radiant Red glowing, she's the one controlling the telekinetic, telekinetic force field with these tree branches and trapping him so they can interrogate him. I like how his captions are like dilated. You can tell it's alien dialogue and it doesn't make quite sense and it does, but it doesn't. It's as, as if like an alien technology would speak, I would imagine. So while he's in trap in Radiant Red telekinetic tree trap, he's like, what do you hope to accomplish by drawing out your deaths? And they're just like, look, we just want to know whether we came to these Radiants and by what way do you approve them or not? We deserve to know what the hell's going on within ourselves. Radiant Ninja's like, okay, deserve, what do you know about deserve? You guys have been marked. Your world, your species will die. You deserve, they deserve to die. Okay, still a little vague here, but that's okay. And they're like, okay, who are you? Where'd you come from? What's up with all this? So like, don't worry, you won't find that out. And by the time you do, if you do, you'll be dead. Thank you for the charge. So this guy literally gets charged up from their, <laughs> from their suits. That's pretty sick. And you know it's an OS moment right there. We see this coffee shop in Moscow. Marshall sees this unsuspecting couple, looks at their coffee and, and steals their coffee. And I don't know how they drink coffee in Russia. I mean, when I think of Russia, I think of bears, wrestling, and Tuvorka. <laughs> That's my worst Russian impersonation. But anyways, Viva Russia. With going back to the comic, Marshall and Radiant Pink or Eva are talking. It's like a cool, quirky dialogue where they bomb, but they're trying to get away. Marshall really wants to get out of here, but they can't because Eva's like, dude, I know you want to get away, but do think about me. I got it recover i gotta recoup and he's like look man i'm not really a jerk here for trying to rush you to get out of here but you know we gotta go we can't be here we got this radiant mofo trying to get at us and when they put it all in perspective this makes sense i mean it's actually kind of funny when you think about black holes and superpowers and space robots it's all pretty hysterical when you think about it and you know they want to laugh but it's like uh... We, we know we gotta go. So Marshall has his premonition of Nathan, who's back in the hospital, the first Radiant Black. And then the Russians come out. To what the? Very weird, he stole our- Okay, I'm stopping with the Russian accents. But you stole our coffee. Something's very wrong with you. So Marshall's like, all right, you feeling a little, bit, little better? She's like, a lot. Then they Radiant up, and they get up out of there, and they go into the woods in Japan and Radiant Red and Radiant Yellow are just getting their asses handed to them by Radiant Ninja. It's really cool how it's pixelated. The visuals are, it, it heightens the speed where it shows them like with, the, with their dashes and the blurred backgrounds to indicate how fast and speedy th things are going with here. And they're just getting served up. Radiant Ninja impales Radiant Red. I'm like, I actually like her. And, you know, she has character. She did what she did for a reason, even though it's flawed. So she goes to the tree and absorbs the tree to stop the to stop the loss of blood. But she's like, I need something stronger. And even Radiant Ninja's like, okay, that's, you know, I got to finish it off. So he impels her in the back through her chest. But she uses that impalement to absorb Radiant Ninja's power. 
and she morphs into like this red robot. Radiant Yellow gets a little dose of it too. Now they're learning how to use the suit together to stop this guy or stop this Radiant Mofo. An explosion happens and that is the teleportation of Marshall and Radiant Pink. And they're like, okay, what happened here? Now Radiant Yellow tells him he charges his tech from us. So we're powering from him, you know? So Radiant Ninja looks at him and confronts him all and tells him, you tempt fate, you dance amongst world enders in the shadow of Armageddon, all while knowing of the extent to which you are a mistake, an accident, a doom to a plant to your planet. Now no more running until we fix your mistake. And Radiant Black's like, okay, okay, you know, it's gonna be like that. You're gonna fix this mistake, ain't gonna happen. And then he summons something and this robotic hand emerges from his chest crushes radiant ninja and everyone's like dude did you know you can do that he's like what the heck was that and even radiant black marshall doesn't know what it is it's like you know it's a one way i'm trying to dot com commune with my robot here in my suit but it's it's one way i can't things calm down ish sort of <laughs> marshall goes into perspective and sees radiant red and he's like oh you know, like I, he's ready to start beef with it. And this is actually the best moment in the book. Even though they're not completely a team, Radiant Yellow is like, all right, knock it off. You know, this is life. You guys got beef. You guys got garbage. Fine. That's up to you to deal with. But not now. There's something much bigger at play here that's way bigger than you guys' two pettiness right now, you know? So with that being said, I got to leave a little meat on the bone in this issue for you guys. In my opinion, Radiant Black number eight is surprising, entertaining, and very well crafted with art, coloring that provides a killer visual, and a one-two punch, and surprising human moments like this one. Now the ending is a cliffhanger, just like before in issue number seven, where the book shows you a little something but it's gonna play something later. And I'm letting you know, if you guys haven't picked up this issue, support the art, support the industry. If you've been on the fence about this book, take my word for it from some dude on the internet, you won't regret getting this one. Link in description, by the way. With that being said, Radiant Black, issue number eight. What'd you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. And also, if you like the content we're throwing up, don't be shy, don't be stingy. Here at Rated Comics, we do awesome comic book reviews, comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.